In this video, we'll learn about the AI-powered text-to-SQL functionality that was added in ClickHouse 25.7. It works with ClickHouse Client or ClickHouse Local, and the easiest way to use it is to provide an environment variable with an open AI or Anthropic API key. So I'm gonna give it an Anthropic API key. Obviously, this is a dummy one, so put in your proper key there. And then we're gonna launch the ClickHouse Client. Now, I'm gonna point this at the ClickHouse SQL Playground. So you can see I've got there the host, I'm using my demo user and there's no password. And then I've just got a couple of other settings that I like to use as well. Now that we're connected to it, we can write this query here to have a look at all the databases that we've got available. So you can see there's a wide range of different ones to work with. I'm particularly interested in that UK database. So let's have a look at the tables in there. And so you can see this is a, a price paid data set for properties in the UK. So I'm gonna see whether I can get the AI powered text to SQL generation to query this table for me. So you need to start by putting uh, two question marks uh, as your prefix, and then we can type in our question. So can you tell me the most expensive place to buy a house in 2021? And then I'm gonna put a semicolon on the end and enter. And you'll see it notices that I've got my Anthropic API key available. So it says, do you wanna continue and use that? So I'll say yes, and away it goes. Now you'll notice that the first thing it does is list databases. So this is a tool that it has available to it to go and list all the databases that are available. Uh, and you see it comes back with a whole load of different ones. The next tool it uses is then list tables in database. And you can see it's doing that for the UK database and it comes back with all the tables in there. Once it's done that, we've then got a third tool which is get schema for table. And so it calls that on the UK price paid table so that it can see what fields are available. And then after that, it's gonna generate the query. So you'll notice that it's only used the schema information and that's gonna be passed to the LLM. No data is sent over to, in this case, Anthropic. And you see it then comes back with a SQL query. We're gonna put in a semicolon and then enter. And so we'll run that and we'll just pause it slightly so we can look at a better formatted version of the query. So if we look at the where filter, you can see it's only working in 2021. And then it's doing some filtering to make sure there's been more than 10 sales and then it's got the average price. And you see it comes back with the most expensive places in the UK. And a lot of the ones on that list are around Greater London, which is not really that surprising if you know the UK's geography. Now, when using this functionality, we need to keep in mind that it doesn't remember any history of what we've asked before. So if we ask a new question about the most expensive houses in London, you can see it goes off and lists all the databases again, and then it lists the tables in the UK table again, and then it explores the schema again. And the query generated doesn't include anything about the year 2021, and it returns no results as there isn't actually a district called London. So what we need to do instead is say, can you tell me the most expensive properties in Greater London in 2021? So we're almost including almost what seems like too much context because it doesn't actually know what we've done before. And again, it goes off, it lists those databases, the tables, the schema, and it comes up with a query for us. And this time it looks good to me, at least from first sight. We'll remove some of the columns so that the result will actually fit on our screen. And then if we scroll up, we can see the most expensive properties all over London. So that's AI powered SQL generation. For more on new ClickHouse features, you'll want to keep an eye on this playlist.